um, the, I, I felt a, a special bond with, with John Colicos because in my second year at Stratford, we redid Michael's production of Cyrano de Bergerac. The first year, Cyrano had been played by Christopher Plummer. The second year, it was played by John Colicos. Now, Christopher Plummer had made a huge success as Cyrano de Bergerac. The, the show was such a success, in fact, that it was indeed rescheduled, which is not common at Stratford. But Chris wasn't available the second year, and so John was brought in to play Cyrano in this magical event. And I saw him up in the green room um, just before we started rehearsals on the first day. And again, this is talk about growing up. Um, I looked at him and I thought, he's nervous. And it was the first time it had occurred to me that uh, an actor older than myself, an, an experienced leading actor, someone that I looked up to, could be nervous. And I realized, of course, it was because he was taking over uh, for Chris in this hugely popular vehicle and that everyone would be comparing him to Plummer. Now, he did extremely well, but I, I had such a feeling of of, oh, sympathy <laughs> for him when I realized that and kind of a, uh, an empathetic response inside myself to realize that suddenly I was grown up enough to see that. And so I, I was always very fond of him and I think that's probably partly the reason why. Mm. My first year at Stratford, he was playing Caliban in The Tempest and I was playing Miranda. And of course, I was terrified of him, as Miranda is often terrified of Caliban. And he w he kept himself quite apart, not only from me, but everyone else in the cast. And he, of course, as you know, one of Caliban's lines is "This island's mine" by Sycorax, my mother, which he would he would um, he had a huge voice, as you remember, and he would he would blast out on stage. And when he was warming up backstage, he would use that line. And he would, he would say, he would hear him all over the theater backstage going, this stage is mine, 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 <laughs> this stage is mine. <laughs> so there was a part of him that you couldn't help but love. <laughs> he had a huge animal presence for me. As well as being a wonderful actor, it was the size of his animal presence that was startling and exciting. Yeah. Both as Cyrano, because I remember the Cyrano. This, Do you? Yeah. This <coughs> and his Lear. Yeah. And uh, it was a force of nature for me. Yes, he was. You know? yeah. I don't think I've seen a storm scene since then where I've quite, actually appreciated quite, quite, yeah. the man taking on the elements. Yeah. And the he was Colicos quite did. young when yeah. he played that. Maybe you have to be that that young to get that kind of Maybe, that yeah. kind of power in Lear. I mean, I, I've seen Bill Hutt's uh, Lear's not just one layer in which he had enormous power, but it was of a different kind. Yeah. Wow, those are memories. So I remember scenes from Lear. I remember him overturning the tables and pitching food when it was, one more daughter was rejecting him and yeah. pitching the food down the vomitorium. That's to right. this day, I remember that. I remember yeah. the chair going over backwards for uh, Gloucester's eyes going out. Oh, right. Yeah. I remember the color of your face in Colicos's arms. Mm. I remember that bluish. You, you mm. put on a blue makeup? Yes, and I sucked a blue lozenge so my tongue would be blue as well. <laughs> Couldn't see that, eh? 